All right, folks, haven't done one of these in a while. I've been kind of busy this year, but I'm glad to be back doing another video for you guys. What I have here is a 2002 Chrysler PT Cruiser. This car is super clean, both in and out. But there is a couple things I want to explain to you. First of all, the odometer says it has 67,417 miles. And I believe that to be true. The title says 67,375 miles, something like that. But here's the thing. I, this is a branded title. I have what's called an N title, which all that simply means from what I can tell by the evidence, by how the shape of this car and everything, somebody checked the wrong box on the back of the title when they traded it in. So that N means not actual mileage. It will not affect you in any way in any state in America as far as being able to um, register the car or anything like that. But because that's on the title, I have to disclose it. And I would anyway, even if I didn't have to. But I do believe 67,417 miles to be accurate. And I think you'll all agree with me once you see me go over this car and show you how nice and clean and what great shape it's in. Okay, first of all, this car's got a, you know, the typical, uh, this actually is the touring version, which means it's got a lot of nice equipment on it. It's got your overhead, you know, compass and thermometer. It's got power windows. Let me show you those. That's your right rear. I hate doing these videos when it's wet out. Unfortunately, I have no choice. Today's December 23rd. I'm going away tomorrow morning and I want to get this done. So with that being said, it's a little misty out today, as you can see by the water, but I'll still be able to do a pretty good job. And as you can see, all the uh, windows operate exactly as they should. Uh, let's see, heat. Man, I just turned the car on, but I can still I can feel the heat coming up already. So I'm pretty sure this is probably going to have decent heat, but I'll verify that for you later. AM, FM, CD with cassette player. Let me actually turn something decent on here, not this AM crap. And let's see, find a radio station. Neo app, 95.1, Neo. There you go. So it does have some, uh, it's got a pretty decent stereo in it. Uh, I can't comment about the CD or cassette player. Don't have any. It's got the rear wiper. Ooh, that works. It's got the rear defogger, which of course works. Power outlet there, power outlet down there, four speed automatic. Uh, it's got adjustable steering wheel. It's got remote, re yeah, remote keyless entry. Sorry, I get my big fat hands in the way there. Uh, wipers, there you go. Obviously that's important, especially when it's raining. Horn. No problem there. It actually sounds like a manly horn, not like a real weenie horn like a lot of these little cars have. Uh, yeah, so it's a pretty decently equipped vehicle. Um, it's not the top of the line limited or anything like that, but it does have something kind of neat. Now, this is what I mean, folks. Look at this seat and look how clean and wear free it is. I mean, there's a little bit here, obviously, because somebody did sit there. But I mean, if you look around the inside of this car and you can see if the steering wheel's not worn, Look at the pedals are not worn. I mean, this is all the stuff. Let me get a little closer. There you go. That tells me that the mileage on this car is legit and somebody just made a mistake on the title. So it's for all these reasons that I do believe that is the accurate mileage. But again, that's up for you to decide. I'll still be selling it like it's got high mileage on it, though, because that's the way I do it. Even as a New Jersey State Inspection sticker, good until June of 2016. So that gives you about six months left on it. And you can still see how clean and nice this car is. This vehicle has, uh, I believe this is a two liter four cylinder engine. Um, I am not going to stick my hands in there to try to rev it up because I don't know where the thingy is. And ever since my mechanic lost the tip of one of his fingers by reaching into a car, I'm just not doing it. I love all you guys, but you know what? My fingers are my life, so I'm not going to mess with that. Anyway. Very clean as you can see in here. It sounds great. The car does run good, but it is only a two liter engine, just so you know. But this is what I was talking about. They put this uh, Xenon body kit on this car. You know, it's like a little go fast kit. You know, it makes it look cool and everything, rear spoiler, etc. Uh, honestly, it doesn't make the car go any faster. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if it actually slowed it down a little bit, but it does look kind of cool. All right, nice clean white paint as you can see. All right, coming back around to here, let me close this up. Now, 
Now, the only thing I notice is whenever they put this body kit on here, this doesn't line up exactly as it should. It looks like they tried gluing it or whatever, but probably if they just put a screw in there, it would have done a lot better job. The front's got some chips in it like you would expect on any car. You know, it's not perfect. It looks like they bumped into something right there. You know, it's not great. Let me do the uh, tires for you. Now, I normally have my handy dandy gizmo for checking the tire depth and everything. Unfortunately, I couldn't find it. I guess my nephew, who's been doing all these uh, videos lately, kind of probably left it in his pocket or something. But let me just... But I got to tell you, I would give this tire... I would say that's probably got 70 to 80% or more of the tread left on the front. The rear, same thing, 70 to 80%. The tires are really nice and fat. Come on around to here. This side, yep, 70, 80%. I would definitely say probably even higher, but I like to be conservative. I don't want to get anybody all excited. And definitely the two front tires are a little better than the two rear tires which that's exactly how you want it to be. You don't want to have the, the weaker tread on the front, but even still, all four tires, probably got a couple years left or many miles before you're gonna to have to do anything. All right, like I said, unfortunately it was, it's, you know, misty out today, but still you can see the body's in pretty decent shape. Let me show you this side. I mean, look how clean this car is. It's spectacularly clean, actually, especially for an O2. That's what, like I said, what leads me to believe that that mileage is 100% accurate. All right, here's your door jam. Look at even this door panel is beautiful. Your door frame. Let's go down here where there's if there's going to be corrosion or problems, it's going to be down here. And as you can see, it is beautiful, just like the rest of the car. Kind of tough to see the roof, but you know it does look pretty darn good, except for a little bit of road dirt that's gotten up on the car since we cleaned it. Look at the back of this thing. I don't know if anybody's ever even sat back here. That's how clean this looks. I mean, I'm probably exaggerating a little bit, but it really is nice. Believe me, if this car was a POS, I certainly would tell you. So I'm definitely gonna talk it up if I think it's a really nice car. All right, here's your, the door itself, and again, all the way down, underneath, no issues, no corrosion, no nothing. Rear quarter panel, nice. Rear bumper isn't all beat up. It isn't all, dent well, not dented, obviously, a plastic bumper won't have dents, but it's not all cracked and everything like you might see. Let's take a look underneath here. There you go. Here's your, the rear of this car. Now, these cars are pretty neat. They've got the split fold down seats. So there actually is quite, even without folding the seats down, you can see it's got a really pretty cavernous trunk area. Very nice, a little, you know, a little power outlet back here, but you fold these seats down and you got tons and tons of room in this bad boy. Now you saw that the, already that the spare was underneath the car, but these seats do fold down and out of the way. Here I'll do your rear hatch for you. There you go. Touring Edition PT Cruiser. Coming up this side, quarter panel looks good. This is your left rear door. Open that up for you. Again, looking at these door panels, looking at just the overall general condition of this car, I think it's pretty darn sharp. Like I said, I'm not a huge fan of the, uh, the ground effects package they put on this, but you know what? It still, it looks pretty cool. I mean, if you like this kind of a car, you're not going to mind the ground effects, that's for sure. All right, there you go. Again, no rust, no dents. I think, uh, yeah, here, see, the only thing I notice is on the spoiler here. That's not even a scratch. It's like a mark of some sort. But you can see it's got the spoiler on the back coming around. Let's go in, up to the driver's door and check this bad boy out. All right, once again. Oh, you know what? I didn't check the power mirrors. Hopefully, I'll remember to do that when I get back in the car. All right, here's your driver's door. I've already showed you the door panel on this baby. And again, underneath. Now, if anybody knows anything about, you know, the 2000 era Chryslers and stuff like that, this is why you'd be a big believer like me in the mileage, because normally a car that's like, say, I probably now this thing is about 14 years old, you would understand that this thing is really, really amazingly good shape. 
Now, normally I would show you underneath the motor, but I don't think I'll get a shot under this, uh, the ground effects spoiler package, but I'm gonna take a whack at it and see what happens. I don't know what you can see under there. Well, hopefully you guys got a view of something. Anyway, what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna take this baby for a ride just to show you that she does run pretty darn good. Um, and then we'll see what we can do after that. All right, I'll be right back. All right, folks, this is a 2002 uh, Chrysler PT Cruiser. We're gonna take it for a spin now. One thing I always like to do is start the cars when they're cold, which you saw me do before. It's like 50 degrees out. Car started right up, no issues, no check engine lights, nothing like that. Now it's had a chance to warm up, as you can see by the temperature gauge, right up to operating temp, and now I'll start her up again. Oh, heat, I did promise you guys. Oh yeah, she's blowing out nice and warm, so you got no problems with the heat there. All right, um, oh, mirrors, that was the other thing I told you. See, I haven't done this in a while, so I'm a little out of practice, I'm sorry. There's your left or your right mirror, come on to this side. There's your left mirror, up, down, no problem. So again, everything seems to be working as it should. All right, we're gonna take it for a spin. Again, this crappy weather. Let me put the delay wipers on, there we go. That way we'll have a little bit of wiper action going. Okay, we'll take it for a spin. All right, hopefully the day before Christmas Eve, we won't have too much traffic here, which we shouldn't. Like I said, this isn't a race car, but it certainly runs really well. Sure shifts nice and smooth, starts right up. This is a car I would have no problem driving almost anywhere myself, and I would put my family in this as well. I know that's important to some of you, so, and I mean that sincerely when I say it. Now, my hand has been off the steering wheel now for this entire straight, and as you can see, I have still haven't touched it. There's my right hand, left hand's on the camera. Oh, we gotta make a turn now, so I'm gonna touch it. All right. And as you can see, this baby tracks down the road beautiful. It's got really good tires on it. You know, even a, you know, in pretty lousy conditions like we have today, um, it, it goes through it very well. All right, we'll turn around here. Don't want to hit the telephone pole, that would be bad. Anybody want a Mustang convertible, there you go. All right, I'm gonna shut up and take off, here we go. I, it wasn't even fully on the gas and we got it almost up to 60 miles an hour with no issues sounds good shifts good shifts nice and smooth like I said I have a lot of confidence in this vehicle all right next thing I'm going to do is pull into this uh, vacant lot across the street from my place do a little brake check and I guess about the only thing you can really tell on the brakes I mean I'll describe them to you but I guess you want to look at the steering wheel and make sure it doesn't swing wildly to the right wildly to the left meaning there's some kind of serious brake balance but other than that and me telling you what I think of the brakes there's really not a whole lot you know you can actually uh, tell from this but whatever it's better than nothing and look at that that wheel didn't budge it stopped perfectly straight perfectly straight now I do hear and I don't know what it is but I do hear some kind I don't even know how to describe it, it sounds almost like a tire noise to me in the front left front uh, but I can't honestly describe exactly what it is. Yeah, I don't hear it going slow. But anyway, I hear something, but it doesn't sound major. So I don't think it's anything to worry about. But again, I try to be, you know, as descriptive and honest as possible with these vehicles. All right, so let's do a quick recap. This is a 2002 Chrysler PT Cruiser. Uh, no issues, no check engines light. Everything seems to work really well. 67,418 indicated on the odometer, matches the title, but as I said in the beginning of the video, this is an N title, the branded title, which I'll also put that, you know, if I publish this anywhere online, I will also put that information in there. Uh, fantastic looking car. As far as the, the condition of the interior, there's no stain, there's no tears, there's no rips. It's just in terrific shape. The outside actually looks really, really nice as well. A little difficult to tell just because of the weather, but even still, you know, I can assure you that you won't be disappointed in the condition of this vehicle if you do decide you want to buy it and you come here to pick it up. You won't be disappointed, I don't think, in this. I mean, unless you're unbelievably particular and anal, 
But if that were the case, you probably wouldn't want to be buying a 14-year-old car. But whatever. As you can see, it's got that xenon ground effects on it. So overall, it's a pretty decent looking car. I wouldn't be embarrassed to drive this car. Well, <laughs> if I like this style of car. But anyway, that's it, folks. I wish everybody a happy holidays, Merry Christmas and all that. And hopefully uh, I'll be doing another one of these soon. Thanks.